Uh, let me ask you guys something. I don't think a, one of these legislators understand why we're here. You know, I'm really disappointed in you. We're here to thank you. Uh, so please keep that in mind because it's really honest. That's what this is all about. It's not about us. Um, you know, we know what you go through on Monday. Well, we wanted you to have a good time on Tuesday. We're here to say thank you. And that's what all this is about, really. Um, most of you people probably don't know this next gentleman. He's got an AFP by his name. I, well, what does that stand for, Dallas? American you got it. Here's our next speaker and a wonderful patriot. Man, this is a good looking crowd. How's everybody doing? I'm Dallas Woodhouse with Americans for Prosperity. And guys, our legislature has given us the first step today to serious tax relief and reform. Now, some of y'all probably want to know why I've got a football jersey on. Because over the past 20 years, before the last few, there have been people with a playbook. But they were fumbling the ball when it came to business and jobs. They were introducing high taxes, high regulation. And you know what was happening? We were losing. We were fumbling. And we needed a change in the game plan. We needed a new playbook. And today that playbook has been delivered. It's a new taxing plan in North Carolina. It's going to change North Carolina's business tax climate from the seventh worst in the nation and going to move us up 27 places. One of the biggest improvements in tax climates ever made in this nation's history. We wanted to see this legislature get North Carolina back in the game for jobs and business by delivering real tax relief and reform. And today they took the first vote. Tomorrow they will take the last vote and they will send it to Governor McCroy for his signature. Now let's talk about that a minute. Now on these foam footballs we're throwing out, it's got a website, it's called Back in the Game NC, and you can find out all about this new tax plan. It's one that takes our corporate tax rate from a regional high of 6.9%. If things work out well, we will more than half that rate to 3%, making us lower than all our neighbors. Right now, we have a personal income tax rate that is 7.75 percent. That is higher than Virginia, it is higher than South Carolina, it is higher than Georgia, and it's much higher than Tennessee which doesn't have a personal income tax. In two years we will be competitive with our neighbors and you will have significantly more money in your pockets because if you pay income tax in North Carolina you will be paying less. And I want to say something about why this is important, not only from the policy. Obviously, we need to be competitive. We needed to change a tax code that was forged in the Depression era. There have been no less than half a dozen times when this legislature has attempted to revise this tax code. And every time, it has failed. And other legislatures across this nation, Louisiana, Kansas, this year, have failed. And I was on television shows and radio shows all over this state. And sometimes it didn't look like it was going to get done. But I believed, because I got to know a lot of these men and women, and I believe they were special. And I would tell people, they're going to get it done because they believe in less taxation, 
less regulation, and empowering you people to get North Carolina working again. And that's what they did today, and that's what they're going to do tomorrow, and that's what Pat McCrory is going to put his signature on by the weekend. So I hope you will take time to thank them, to go on our website, Back in the Game NC, take the foam footballs, thank them for cutting spending. Over the next five years, this tax relief and reform plan will return two and a half billion dollars to the taxpayers of North Carolina who created it, earned it, and rightly should keep it. There's a lot of other reforms they've been working on, regulatory reform, but these folks have led when others didn't. Now, I've held a lot of rallies on this location over the years. Somehow, when the other folks were in charge, raising taxes and doing things, we found ways to express our opinion. Knock on wood, never went to jail. followed the law. And I didn't like what those guys were doing. I really didn't. But we expressed our ways within the law, got the proper permits. And I understand the other side's frustration. They milked the taxpayer for generations and are sad that they can't do it anymore. I get it. But there's a fair question when you start throwing questions around about morality. Was it moral when Governor Perdue looked at the taxpayers of North Carolina and said she didn't know how to spell tax increase and then just a month later pushed the largest tax increase in North Carolina history on taxpayers? Was it moral when Jim Black bribed his way to a majority in the IHOP bathroom in Salisbury? No. Was it moral when Mike Easley became a convicted felon? No. They have every right to their beliefs, but they have no right to question my morality or yours or theirs. The overspending, the overtaxing, and the overregulation that this state engaged in has been immoral. And these people are returning to some sanity to this state, and we should thank them. What does this say on the back of this jersey? On behalf of the taxpayer, because these people are, in fact, getting us back in the game in North Carolina for jobs, for businesses, and for families, and we should thank them. Thank you very much. Have a great day.